everyone this is Aisha from unlimited income now and today I'm going to be introducing mailer light and be walking you through the steps on how you can get your mailing list started on mailer light today the two areas I'm hoping to touch today are how to create your subscribers groups and how to create an automation workflow this is basically what you will be using to send the freebie to your subscribers when they subscribe and to create a sequence of emails that you would like them to receive at any interval that you decide for when they sign up so it's automated you don't have to be there for ev whenever every subscriber subscribes they are going to get it sequentially in the order and with the time interval that you set so let's go ahead and start with subscribers Initially, you're going to want one set of subscribers, the people who sign in to your, your mailing list, either to grab, get the freebie or simply just sign in to get their updates from you. So in my case, I'm using a freebie and my freebie is a five day email course. So I'm just going to name the list find blog topic free list. That's like a short version of my course's name. So so just to walk you through what you just it's very simple just add new group add the name hit create since i've already done mine i'm just going to cancel it for now your next step would be to go to automation now this is where you have the question how do i send my freebie to those on my email list well there are two ways you can do that for the first way is to have it as the first email that they get from you when they when you when they sign up to your email list let me show you an example okay in this workflow oops, that's not what i wanted to hit one second all right let's go to edit okay so now see so if you see here this is an automation workflow ideally this is where you want them when subscribers join a group and you want this to be the group that they join when they sign up and you don't want to give them two days you want them to do it right away all right so at this point what you would do is you don't create a delay you go to the next set of actions you know what i should probably just create a new one and walk you guys through this that'll be easier hold on a second at least you see the workflow for how it is done okay so what you would do is you would create a new workflow okay and give it like a name like test in my case and i'm just going to put it here because i know there's nobody in that group and you can set the trigger for when subscriber joins a group that's exactly what you want to do the group when they sign up they're going to be joining the group that you set up for when they sign up so you can just make sure that's the group that you create and hit save now so it is said that when they sign up to your list or to grab your freebie this is the workflow that they come into so what all you do is hit the plus sign and you can go to email and in your email you thank them for joining and you can even use emojis i like that about mailer light and you go to design mail now what how now and you can choose i like the drag and drop editor that's the easiest one and rich text editors is probably just quite a little simple but at least a drag and drop gives you more options and really cool options actually so let's just use the drag and drop and so basically what you would ideally do is if you want a header or something you could use an image and then you can have your text in those are aesthetics you can decide how you want to do them so in this first email you want to thank them and you want to give them a link to your freebie how do you go about doing that now most of our freebies are an ebook so what i what i would do is i would go to the back end of my wordpress blog 
and I would save the PDF file on there. Let me walk you through that really quick. So what you would do is you would go to media in your WordPress blog and just click on add new and save it there just like you would any image or like any picture or anything that you add to your blog. The same way you would add it there. In my case, I already have something added. So I'm just going to go show that real quick. So now see, what in my, in, for my sign up sheet, it's actually a five day email course. But what I did at the end of the fifth day, when I moved all my, those who finished my freebie into a new group, I'm offering the, all the five days content in PDF format so that they don't lose it. So that's what this PDF file is. And if you see here, you got this link. That is where your PDF file is at. So you copy that link and you come over to your email and you can say something like thank you for joining then you have blah 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 and then in case you missed your free ebook you can download it right here and then you can say download your book now and make it a link Ta -da! that's it and you can set this to a new window hit yes and save and once you're done editing it's set up right here so once they join your list they're going to get an email with your freebie right in it and you can add the other parts of your email sequence below in the same way to create a delay between them now these plus signs are the next steps or next actions that you want to create in your workflow so you can choose to have a delay of one day two days whatever you want you can hit a delay and before you go to the next email and then you can create an email or and once you are done with the entire flow once you are done with all of it and you want to move them to another group where they get say all your newsletters or some other promotion that you're doing what you need to do there is go to action and move move to a new group so these users you know that these users have finished your freebie and you would like them to be getting your regular newsletters and stuffs and not the focus set of your email sequence or maybe you want them to get a new email sequence that's up to you but what you do when you move them to a new group that when you create that automation workflow you just have it going to those people in that in, in that helps prevent the same person from getting the same email from you twice and for for subscribers who are already on your list they don't miss out any emails that you intend for them to get so then you just make once you're done with your entire uh, workflow you end it up with moving them to a new group so they can continue so that is one way of getting the freebie to them the other way is actually in the settings of your uh, web form itself the, what the web form is is the forms that you have on your website that they sign up on to get sign up to your list so in this case i will show you guys this guy so this is the email the sign up box that i have on my sidebar now uh, the sidebar of my website right here i need to take you there let's see right here so when someone signs up here what have so you can you can choose which group they get into you can fix the fields the designs etc etc and then once you hit then once you hit save you want so once they sign up to the list they're going to be getting this thank you page now 
when you edit this thank you page you can leave a link there to your for them to pick up your freebie this will appear on their web page like I, right after they sign up this is what's going to pop up in my case since it's a email course i simply wrote that your day one course material would be in your email box momentarily you can just say your subscription to our list has been confirmed thank you for subscribing as promised here is the link to your um, download and you can link it to this download let me just show it in the edit format this it's exactly the same way as you did it in the automation workflow so you can just say here is the link to your download as promised or whatever the words and you would just hyperlink it and add a link right there and then they would get this link to open up and save your freebie as how you wanted it so i hope this not so short um, tutorial helped